Hey guys, it's Vikeness from The Gamer Show. Uh, today we've got a special unboxing. We have the Sea of Thieves Monopoly game. This literally was just delivered. And uh, I wanted to make sure that you guys got to see it come out of the box. So this is going to be an official unboxing for this. So here we go. Let's get a little bit of this tape off. And let's pull this bad boy out. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Oh, it smells good. It smells really good. So you can see there the detail of the box. Right, I'll flip it over. You can see there it's got all the information on it. Right, you can see the, the pieces there also. Yeah, and it comes with a gold curse macaw included inside this. Looks like it was already opened up a little bit, but why don't we just pull it more? Oh, nice. There we go. I'm peel this back. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, this uh, went up for pre order um, right before Christmas, I believe. And I ordered it right away. And um, it was delayed for probably about a month. Um, but they finally shipped it out. It took almost a week to two weeks to actually get this. So yeah, here we go. Let's uh, do the unboxing here. I'm slowly lifting up the box and there we go so you can see there's nothing too much to it one last time just to show you the, the top of the box you can see here the Kraken hiding in the corner there I got the Reapers let's see the red coin awesome so let's just set that over for the side there and we will just take a look here this is the uh, Golden Curse Macaw Equipable Pet that can be redeemed in game. And uh, that is beautiful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's the Sea of Thieves manual saying uh, if you don't know how to play Monopoly, this is how you do it. So you can see they've got one of the Reaper guys there. You know, set it up, how to set it up, how to click taxes, the money etc and then this looks like a Hasbro um, you know kind of like catalog of things to, to purchase so uh, there's that as well so let's get to it we've got here these are the um, it looks like the community chest maybe um, let's just open these up real quick. we'll do that in a second let's look at the board that's the oh no you know what check these out so these are the, the gold pieces, the loot. We'll open them up here and we'll get kind of an, an impression. Man, these things are heavy. So you can see there's the, there's the piggy. And then we have the galleon, right? We have the compass. You see there with the detail. Nothing on the back, by the way. This is one of the tall tales. Did you know this the uh, got this one looks like the captain's chest right very good detail and the uh, order of souls it looks like this is maybe a captain's skull so pretty cool detail very heavy I mean you can hear the the sound that's very high quality that's probably the whole cost of this thing was the was for those so let's put those back in the baggie I'll put that off to the side and you can see here these are your typical monopoly hotels and houses um, it would have been really cool if these were like the shanty house and uh, like the pirate emporium or, or things like that that repre represented the sea of thieves however there was probably some kind of clause that stated like you know if you're going to use our monopoly monopoly likeness um, you have to use our tokens. I don't know. I'm, I'm just 
just coming up with that on my own, but that's what it feels like. Uh, what is this? There's just random card over on the side. This card can be played with the Sea of Thieves Tops Trumps Pack. So that's the Kraken, as you can see there. This might be some kind of extra card of some sort. Maybe, the, oh, this goes to this the Trumps Pack. I guess this is a um, another game, sorry. But I, I guess they give you one as like a promo or something. I watch it be like super rare and I don't even know about it. Um, if we take these out here, just to kind of showcase the box, let's make sure nothing else is in there. You'll see that it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's where you can put all the money and then these are probably the properties. And then put the board in here, etc. Kind of like as the bank. So we've got the Monopoly money, but you can tell this is the Bills Rats. Um, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to be really careful about it because, you know, when it comes to the money in this game, it's just paper. So I don't want to accidentally cut it with my trusty box opener. There we go. Perfect. Now we can peel the rest. So just so you can see on the back here, you got the S Wrap Money Q Play MC of Thieves UK. All right. So we'll get this opened up. As many of you guys probably watch me on Twitch, um, I love the Sea of Thieves. It's one of my absolute to go to games and favorite games. <clears throat> and I think they're doing a pretty good job with the game so far. Just got to keep it up. So you can see there, uh, Looks like we have the Hunter's Call for the, the fives. Builds Rats for the one. Um, for the tens, we have the Order of Souls. Uh, for the um, 20s, are the Reapers. And then for the 50s, it's the Merchants. I bet you the hundreds are gonna be the Gold Hoarders. <laughs> and then what do we got for 500? Yeah, definitely the Athena. So uh, that was the, the money for the game, right? So we'll put that nicely there. Now let's get to the deeds, um, also known as the property cards um, in regular Monopoly. I don't see anything to pull this off easily, so we'll just cut it right there. And we will go like that. We're saving the best for the last, if you haven't noticed yet. Oh, there we go. Almost. Ah, yes. There we go. Let's push this to the side. And I'm just going to do a quick pull through so you guys can see. Right? We'll go through all of them. As you can see, there's Golden Sands Outpost, Sailor's Knot Stronghold, Smuggler's Bay, Sanctuary Outpost. Skull Keep, Crooked Mass, Galleon's Grave Outposts. So I was thinking that maybe those were going to be like um, all the outposts red. Shipwreck Bay, Kraken's Fall, Dagger Tooth, you got Green, Ruby's Fall, Devil's Thirst, Marl Wind's Peak. Uh, here's Blue, uh, Molten Sands Fortress, the Shores of Gold. So these ones here are the, uh, the Boardwalk ones. The Gold Hoarders. The Reaper Bones, the Order of Souls, and the Merchant Alliance, the Fairy of the Damned, Fault of the Dam. And then it looks like, so these were, here are the, um, these are the deeds. So you can see on the back, you know, it just says the name and the mortgage value. That's when you flip them over to mortgage your properties. <clears throat> these here are also mortgage values, but they were, these look like they may be, um, the, uh, without looking at the game, right? I'm just assuming that these are probably like the railroads and then these two might be the utilities. That's what I'm thinking. So again, these are probably the railroads and then these are the utility cards. Uh, if I flip them over, you can see it just has, um, you know, their mortgages and their icons. So all, all of those were different. Uh, now let's take a look. These look like the community cards. We've got a whole bunch of ones with the bottle, and then we have ones with the Athena. Um, so I think the, all of these are 
the two decks that you put in the middle. So let's take a look at the, the bottles, right? So message in a bottle, advance. Uh, what I'll do, I'll go through these pretty quick. I don't want to read them all, but you guys can pause them, okay? If that makes sense, all right? That looks nice. I love the artwork on there. That's great. There we go. Get a jail free card. That's the good one. Yeah. There's another one. Hopefully, I've got these close enough for you guys. Go directly to jail. This he will get you. Advance to the nearest space of the damned. Yep. Play a shanty at the Galleon's grave. Yep, your plunder loot from the shipwreck. Right? So, I'm hopefully these are coming back out really good. And there's the Shroud Breaker. And then last but not least, here are the Athena deck for the middle. As you can see, the Athena's Fortune. And I'm going to do the same thing with these ones, guys, so you could just pause the video um, to them. Oh, the splash tails. I'll put those down like that. Villainous skull. Right? Oh, the alliance. Yes. Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect 200. You can see there. Oh, there's the chicken. The chicken card. Very nice. You steal a ruby gem from the cursed statue. Collect. And then you go dig up the captain's chest. You buy a shiny new pistol. That's uh, a pistol. That's funny. It's the merchant outfit that was exclusive to Xbox in the beginning. And get out a gel free card. That's a good one. Um, at the bottom of all these cards, it just says from 1936 to 2020 Hasbro, 2020 Microsoft Corporation. So, all right. Well, that was it for the contents of the the game however there's still one thing we haven't seen and that just so happens to be the board so let's go ahead and put this stuff away <clears throat> so that way we can pull out the board and take a look at the finale so i'm going to move this here for just a half moment here and we will pull the board apart and there we go We've got the official Sea of Thieves Monopoly game board. And again, uh, Monopoly is done by Hasbro. So what I'll do is I'm just going to pick this up here and move it off to the bottom so you guys can see that there, right? And then we'll rotate it so you guys can see all the different artwork, right? There are some comments that I'm going to say here in just a second, but... I want to make sure you guys can get kind of a good detail of everything on here, right? There we go. So they're called Message in the Bottle, not Community Chest. And then the other ones are just called Athena's Fortune. Then you place them on the deck there. All right, here we go. Yep, so that's all the different alliances. Whoop. Hold on. There we go. Yep, and we're right about those two. Yeah, so I, I really dig this. This is great. Um, I do think that there was a missed opportunity um, when it came to the in the jail just visiting, um, or the one over here. They could have they could have done something a little bit more, you know, related to that um, free parking. You know, I think it just had something to do with the branding of utilizing the brand of Monopoly. Had to have some type of uh, resemblance to it um, as you can see Monopoly with the our Monopoly guy here being there perfectly and, and their logo but there could have been certain things that they had to do or maybe pay more but you know I'm totally fine with this this looks great um, the quality is really nice um, it looks like it's great I love to see that they got the the map there right now um, obviously they cut off a little bit of, uh, of the devil's roar and the majority got mostly the middle of the map where the, the so-called spawn point is here at the Ferry of the Damned. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. That is the, uh, the unboxing um, of the Sea of Thieves Monopoly game that just came out 
And uh, I'm super excited to try this out this weekend. Hopefully I can get some time. And then don't forget that this thing came with this exclusive Gold Curse Macaw equipable pet. So if you see people running around in the game with this pet, it's because they bought this from the Rare Store. So anyways, guys, that's it. That's the unboxing. Um, I gave you guys kind of a, a quick rundown of all of the uh, different things related to this. Um, what's inside of it. And also just kind of showing off the little exclusive item that they're giving out as well. Uh, but other than that, please leave some comments. I appreciate the feedback you guys do give, and I, I check it either every day or every other day. So um, it's you guys are creating the channel. You guys are basically the ones that drive me to make more stuff. So please just uh, leave some comments. I'm more than happy to reply back. And thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Gamer Show.